Okay, here we are. Here's my truck outside with some debris. We're going out the window for the most part with all the debris, which is kind of handy right into the pickup. But this is an outside wall here on the home. It's the end wall, the gable end. So we got goes up to a peak up here. <clears throat> this is this wall bisects the entire length of the home. We got the street this way, and the kitchen's over here in the backyard. <clears throat> so the existing uh, load-bearing wall came right through this area here right along and right up over there and there was a doorway into the living room um, these older homes mid middle of the 20th century everybody liked these doors where here we are there's the bathroom door there's the guest room door there's a closet there's another bedroom over here there's another closet under the stairs there was the door into the living room uh, this wall was here so then there was another complete doorway you can see I've taken out Kind of this much of the header and stuff that was over here so there was like a doorway to the kitchen a doorway to the living room it was very much like a living in a habit trail sort of a situation which nobody these days likes although you can go too far with an open plan i um condone this decision here to take this wall out for the most part this makes for a much larger room in a relatively small home and it won't uh, affect a lot of the privacy that you otherwise have here so uh it started by coming down to where this wall intersected the outside wall finding the first stud to our left and uh, splitting in the middle so we have a little bit left here to get some drywall to go across here when we're finished finding the first stud to this side and cutting back the from the center all the way to the floor <clears throat> all the way to the ceiling now the ceiling's a different story because the uh, we're not looking to find the middle of a f ceiling joist because we're working to a perpendicular so I just picked a, a round number to move over to this side move over to that side I made a mark made a mark went down to the other end, made a mark made a mark snapped a line snapped a chalk line and zzz, came through here and took all of this material out uh, it was an old material not quite drywall here's the back of it here it's a 16 inches by 48 inch panels that went all the way down both sides of this wall and uh, it's on the ceiling to it and all went out that window and left so then we take our plate off the floor. This is our temporary wall that we built here. Uh, plate and the stud and uh, the sole plate <clears throat> and the top plate. Um, these temporary walls went in. We just went right down the first exposed area of the ceiling joist with a top plate and threw a sole plate just laying on the floor and ultimately connected up uh, one stud to either end and kind of kicked this around till it was plumb and I added another and I added another and just kept working pulling tape and packing them in tightly and keeping it plumb by just kicking the plate around on the floor and it's in here so tightly now that you can't hardly move it and I did the same thing over on this side. So now, <clears throat> what's the deal with the support walls? This is the top plate or pair of top plates from the old existing wall and you can see the ceiling joist can come from the outside wall of the home. They come over and they lay on that top plate on this side and then over here the other ceiling joist to the other room comes over from that outside wall and it lays on this top plate on the other side. They pass right here. They just pass together. Sometimes you see them a little longer, maybe a little shorter than this, but although that wouldn't be good. Um, but they pass one another and they're sitting on this wall and it's holding them up. Um, so to be able to remove it, I had to add a, a temporary wall under these floor joists so that they come over from the outside wall and they're sitting on this tightly. <clears throat> Same over here. We, they come over from outside. They're sitting on this temporary wall now and effectively there's no pressure here. So I removed all the studs and the floor, the plate, sole plate off the floor. This is our HVAC stack here that was hidden in a, in a wall bay like between two studs in this old wall. It was hanging out in there. <clears throat> so we're here and everything's been taken out. Now I haven't pulled the double plate off the top because it's going to be helpful to me. It's the thickness of an existing two by four wall and it's also the same it's three and a half inches wide and it's also the same thickness as the beam that's going to come in here and replace this wall so instead of these joists sitting in on a fully formed wall in here i'm going to cut them back and slide a beam up in till i'm touching the subfloor from upstairs and then each one of these is going to get a joist hanger on the end of it and attach it to the beam so thereby the beam will span this entire way and all of these floor joists will die into it and they'll go into a joist hanger which is designed to carry them and the beam has been installed to carry the weight and under here there's no wall in our way 
So how do I use this top plate before I pull it down? I cleaned all these little nails and plaster that's left over off. I've done it down here. I'm going to keep going that way. But I get to that point, and then I can come in with a... <coughs> Let me grab a square. I can come in with a square speed square and I can stick it to that and go sh clunk and stop and I can strike a line there and I can do it all the way down on both sides all the way down here all the way down there and then I'll pull this down and that'll leave me with a line to cut and I'll know that when I cut it on both sides I'll have the exact width I need to slide my beams up into place so that's the next step I'm gonna come through and make all those marks I'll save you guys the uh, exhaustive coverage of that. It's going to be the same all the way down, and when I come back, we're going to be ready to slide our beam in place.